This is the big one. This is the essay that is more or less going to make or break your performance in College Comp 2. It's the research essay. We're starting it at the very tail end of February and we're done with it in I think the middle of April. So we're going to spend a long time on this essay, hopefully spending our time productively and I'll probably wrap back to that idea here shortly. So uh, let's go look at the assignment first of all. You have to pass this essay. This essay has to be argumentative in nature. That is to say, you have to have a persuasive goal from the beginning of the essay all the way to the end. You have to have a total of 10 sources in this essay. Sources are going to be secondary in nature. That is to say, you can locate them online. You didn't conduct the research. Uh, you know, you've done this uh, already once in college comp. So hopefully you know how to find, locate, evaluate, incorporate, and cite sources in that way. The other type of research that you're going to do is primary research. Primary being the first. You've already done a lot of this. You've conducted an observation and you've studied something yourself. You can do those things again. What you can also do is conduct new observations, interviews with people uh, who are related to your topic in some way, surveys, questionnaires, online polls. Uh, surveys and questionnaires tend to be very popular for this assignment. Anyway, they got to add up to 10. You got to use at least one primary source, which is to say you got to conduct one interview or you have to distribute one survey. The, re you know, the other nine sources can all be you know, from academic journals, from magazines, newspapers, organizations, government resources, etc. So uh, the, how you do it is up to you. If you want to create 10 pieces of primary research, well, hey, that's never been done before. Go for it. But uh, you know, as long as there's a total of 10, by the time I flip to your works cited or your references page, I need to see 10 sources or uh, items listed in the appendix. Uh, more on that once you get things sorted out. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. So you need to, um, where, where do I go from here? So what is the purpose of your paper? What is your main research question? You have to do that for the discussion board post that is due uh, this week as well. So more on that in a moment. Uh, let's see, what else do I need to talk about on the actual assignment? You know, you gotta be logical. You gotta stick with conventions. You gotta make sure you spell everything correctly, that sort of thing. Secondary sources and primary sources I've covered. And then, um, yeah, your primary sources will appear in an appendix, and your total number of sources um, will be 10. So uh, I tried to keep this nice and, sh nice and short. Investigating technology, that's the main goal. So we go back to the week seven agenda. You have uh, just this massive folder. I want to talk about the assignment first before we looked at it. You open in Drive. You click on that little blue open in Drive button, and you'll see that the assignments are in here for your annotated bibliography, which is a smaller assignment. Your, uh, uh, the potential topics I think I'm going to get rid of now that I'm looking at it. Uh, your invention journal, your, where your peer review, and then um, the assignment itself. So your assignments are in there. Lots of little presentations that I that started off as PowerPoints that I've converted to Google Slides. I don't know. I, I'm a real sort of kitchen sink guy when it comes to delivering content to you. So I try different things all the time. I think some of you will respond to slides and slideshow presentations maybe more than like the prezies that I've done in the past. Uh, we'll see. So you have some presentations that you need to look at. Research articles to be read. Uh, these are all on different topics that loosely are going to be important to you. So uh, context aware access for constrained security devices. So this is just an example of uh, an interesting you know uh, encrypted communications type journal article. So it just gives you a sense of what uh, a mix of primary and secondary sources would look like. Okay, discovery-based learning, and that's really what you know I'm charging you to do with this primary research is to discover, just like with the observation essay, you didn't know what tech use was going to look like at, you know, Books a Million or Starbucks, uh, you know, or Subway. You had to go and find out. You had to discover for yourself. So these are pretty heavy lifting. I won't lie about that. Some of these articles are um, pretty pretty deep, but they're worth it. Interacting with computers. Um, so multimodal feedback. I'm trying to kind of lay a little bit of a foundation for the next assignment as well. Um, so anyway flip through those, they'll get you con more sort of conversant in what research writing looks like and um, hopefully it'll inform your style a little bit. Okay, now this is probably the most important folder uh, in this larger folder besides the assignments maybe is help and examples. So how do you get started? Okay, uh, tips and suggestions for writing it, how to revise it, and then three samples from previously successful uh, endeavors. So I'm not going to get into any of these yet. If you'd like me to do a screencast on these uh, these helpful documents, or I hope they're helpful, at a later date, please let me know.
let's see, what else can I tell you about this week? Oh, topics. Let's talk about topics. If you've uh, made it five minutes, let's go uh, another few. Uh, first of all, topics are everywhere to be found. Inspiration can be anywhere you want it. Um, I think we've all been guilty of waking up first thing in the morning and having that great idea or, uh, you know, uh, uh, for me, like on runs, I'll have the best ideas, you know, six miles into a 15-mile you know, run. And by the time I get, you know, home, um, like, oh, what was that good idea I had? Write your stuff down. Be willing to be inspired at any time. Okay, so... Uh, I mean, I try to give you some websites that are tech related, right? Um, you know, hopefully you'll consult them. Let me take a drink of water real quick. I'm, uh, I feel like I'm uh, getting a little lip smacky. Ah, all right, like my son always says every time he takes a drink, he goes, ah, <laughs> refreshing. Okay, what you need to do is um, I created what's called a Padlet. It's just a sort of a wiki. It's a fancy way to provide lots of info. So I've already thrown in lots of topic ideas, places for you to begin. For instance, you know, I just read about like fitness apps. Um, you know, there's uh, uh, apps for everything anymore. Lots of them are related to fitness. So if you want to, you know, uh, research and investigate and, you know, land on an argument about apps in some way, awesome, go for it. Um, I think technology has a huge role in obesity and adult obesity and uh, especially childhood obesity. And, you know, I don't know that for sure. If I were you, if that's something that maybe you suspected, maybe you can ask a research question like, you know, how does technology impact obesity in children? And proceed from there. And, of course, you can do, you, you could conduct observations of that, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I don't know. I think a lot of these speak for themselves. What you need to do for this assignment, and anybody can post, is you just double click and you write that your title should be your name. So, Steve, right? And then um, let's say I have an idea for, uh, do I have wearable tech on here? I was just reading about wearable tech. Wearable technology, All right? So, you know, kind of like, uh, you know, Google Glass. What else? Um, the Apple Watch that's coming out. That's supposed to be so smart. So wearable technology. Technology just keeps shrinking and shrinking. Uh, let me briefly show you. Let's see if I can find it really quick. I'm creating a massive presentation for my, uh, for my work. And um, let's see. Computers, this is really off the top of my head. Computers used to look like this. This is the ENIAC, right? 1920s, it's a weather prediction machine. Look at all the tubes that had to be running perfectly in order for the very first computer to work, right? And now, you know, um, sorry. Um, now, yeah, as they get slimmer, smarter, wearable, uh, they start to think for you to the point where this is an actual screenshot from Google Glass. If you're wearing the Google Glasses, as you're talking to Paul, you can have reminders that you set for yourself for Paul, you know, um, ask him about his trendy scarf. And it will also call up your most recent text conversation. You can also integrate you know, your Facebook or, you know, of course, Google Plus because it's a Google product. But so, you know, tech that frees up both your hands. So there's all sorts of ways to um, have an interesting topic idea. So these are just the ones that I have come up with so far. You will be adding two. You can see Ben here. Every time I make a screencast, Ben is um, on his game. Uh, he's already done some part of the assignment. So thank you very much, Ben. Uh, so he has a really good one. Uh, tech and, and houses and the way we live at home. The, the fancy term for it, you know, Ben, if I wanted to um, get you down this road a little more, is called the Internet of Things. So, you know, we're going to have uh, refrigerators that are going to know uh, when your cell phone gets close enough to it that you tweeted earlier today, I'm starving for, uh, you know, a ham sandwich. And you get to close to your fridge and your fridge is going to tell you, hey, Steve, uh, there's, there's ham in here. Would you like to make a sandwich? You just got to go get some bread. You know, so um, the Internet of Things is definitely coming down the pike. So that's an example of a really good topic. So uh, anyway, back to the inspiration. I think there's so many ways to be inspired. Uh, there are websites that are always covering uh, tech news, and these are three of the better ones that are out there, The Verge, Wired, and Gizmodo. I bet you know more than I do. So if you have a cool website that I should put add to this list, please let me know. I'd be happy to. Um, I just saw the movie Her. That was uh, it's, uh, written and directed by Spike Jones, who's one of my favorite directors. He um, basically it's set a few years in the future. It's kind of a prediction of what technology is going to look like. And... Um, if we can see any of it. So you can see the earpiece in there. Uh, he's a lonely guy. It's a very pretty movie. It's a gorgeous movie. Uh, and that's basically, he falls in love with an operating system. So I'm not going to uh, play that anymore because I know it slows down the uh, feedback, or the playback on screencast, so I'm not going to do that anymore. But Her uh, just came out a few years ago, and uh, it's a beautiful movie, and it has lots of interesting predictions for what the world's going to look like very soon. Uh, in a very similar way, 2001, A Space Odyssey, which is uh, directed by my favorite director of all time and should be yours too, Stanley Kubrick, it's a prediction from 1968 about what space travel would look like, about what spaceships would look like in zero gravity and, uh, you know, uh, landing on the moon, all these things we hadn't done yet. So Stanley Kubrick created a movie that looks just like 
what space travel ended up looking like. He had lots of predictions about the role of technology in our lives. All of his movies really were concerned about technology, but uh, 2001 is the one that was most sort of overtly addressing those issues. Uh, and then podcasts. I just listened to a really cool podcast um, called um, Invisibilia, I think is how you pronounce it. Uh, I've heard it a couple of different ways. Uh, and it was all about um, computers. And uh, we're integrating them so smoothly into our lives that uh, we have to think about how are they changing us. I think some really deep sort of philosophical questions. And then in a much more, not a much more, but in a slightly more mainstream way are the TED Talks. And so uh, this is filtered through technology. And you can see, you know, um, robots that, you know, sort of maker technology, the future of early cancer detection, so technology and healthcare, um, 3D printing, you know, all the, you know, data that we collect, cyber warfare, and I mean, I'm just scrolling around here. Um, social media um, likes say more than you think that, you know, we like when people like our pictures, you know, uh, so all sorts, I mean, you could spend all day in here, and I hope you will if you're having trouble finding a topic. Um, let's see, four minutes to go. Do I want to get into much of this? Uh, Invention Journal 5, we can talk about for a second. Uh, we're halfway home after you complete this one, only five <laughs> invention journals to go. Actually, uh, only four because six and seven are one invention journal. Uh, but so in 500 words or two minutes, oops, take me on the journey that led me to your topic, or that led you to your topic. So uh, you have to use, um, you have to explain what led you to your topic. There you go, editing in action, I'm going to bold that. Okay, uh, a link to one video, uh, post a couple of pictures. I want you thinking about this not only in the research sense, but also in uh, sort of a, uh, multi, you know, media sort of a sense, you know, different ways to come at your topic, because you may have ideas that way. Uh, and then there are certainly examples uh, that have worked in the past. I hope this one is the one I'm thinking of, the first one. Yeah, this is a good one. Hub pages, when I clicked on it. Um, so texting while driving, right? Texting, basically uh, texting um, in general. But pictures, links, and videos, right? Links to articles that are in the news um, about, you know, anxiousness. Um, so the, the, the way that our technology creates, oh, how do I say this? Anxiety, I guess. They're, they're supposed to be these, you know, incredibly liberating tools most of the time, but sometimes the opposite's true. Uh, there are lots of ways to be successful with the fifth invention journal. Eating disorders and technology, right? I believe technology plays a huge role in dis these diseases, eating disorders. And we'd like to explore just how much it affects the victim. So that's an example of nice and focused. So two videos, a couple of articles, and then photos that show the, uh, you know, the, sort of the ideas at play. Really a good one there. And then let's see if this one's any different. If it's not, I'm just going to close it out. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is a student who made uh, an audio diary that discussed why he chose the topic that he did. Uh, really cool one. I'm not going to play because, again, that slows down to playback, but plenty of good options. Um, what else I want you to do is check out some of these sample Invention Journal 6s and 7s because the, one of the last assignments uh, or one of the last parts of Invention Journal 6 and 7 is what research advice would you offer to your peers? So I always have, you know, 20, this is from 2014, giving advice to 2015, and whatever advice you give when you complete Invention Journal 6 and 7 will be the advice that I'll be giving to uh, students in my class who are taking College Comp 2 in 2016. So uh, anyway, it'd be, it's wise for you to start, you know, to get that advice sooner rather than later, so I hope you'll flip through a few of these. You can see some Palatoons in there, some screencasts, uh, some Prezi's, YouTube videos, well, else, any other different types? Uh, oh, an impressor, those are pretty cool, impressors are tough. Uh, and um, you can see kind of my feedback a little bit on those as well, because that's how I kind of chose to grade them, like I'll do with yours. Uh, and then lastly, and I would say most, uh, or least excitingly, uh, are the, the last sort of options here, where you compose an original thread and the discussion forum uh, about your research question, and that will help everybody sort of narrow and make sure that technology doesn't get lost in the shuffle of being sort of excited about a topic. Uh, you have your writer's FAQs. I think I'm going to add a couple readings to this as well because um, your other textbook can be a little bit helpful, not as helpful maybe as I'd like. And then you have uh, digital library research lessons basics, which should look familiar to you from college comp. Um, but if it doesn't, I guess uh, no better time than the present to make yourself aware of those. So this week is lots of uh, pondering and thinking. And oh my goodness, if you waste your time this week, if you waste my time this week, uh, you're going to make this essay so much tougher on both of us. I certainly do not want that to happen. So. Uh, put some serious thought into the topic you want to spend some time with because you're going to be on this topic for like six plus weeks. Uh, it's a big chunk of your time with me and I'd like you to spend it in a way that's not only productive but in a way that you'll enjoy it. So let's get off to a great start with this research.
project. Please, please, please. I want to help in any way I can. Email, bonfire, anything else. So, of course, I've gone the whole 15 minutes. Thank you. Goodbye.